Hello, Chris Neal from South Plains College, back with my Pro Tools how-to video series. This video is part two of effect setups for surround in Pro Tools. We are going to be covering quad in and out and 5.0 in and out with complex delay in part three. Thanks for joining me. Okay, here we are back in the session. Next thing we're going to look at is setting up a quad reverb. So I've got these four guitars here. First two are in left, right, front. We got one in left surround, right surround, and one in LCR. So we're going to create new track, quad aux input. Going to name this F reverb Q, little Q for the input is quad, and then room four. Hit create. We see our aux input track show up here. Gonna just move it down to the right of all the audio tracks for now so we can still see it, but it's not in the way. The output is automatically set because there are not very many quad uh, options and it has to have a quad out. So once we get to this scenario, a quad in has to have a quad out. Uh, I already had a quad S sub M sub path created, so it automatically found and assigned itself to that. So we open up the send here. And I'll set them to uh, pre-fader, which is not how you would normally set up an effects device, just so that we can hear just the reverb when I'm uh, routing it. Uh, the pre is only for demonstration purposes here. So the send window looks a little different than what we're used to because it has the uh, quad panner there. We'll talk about that in class. And we're going to load up a plugin. As you see from the multi-channel, we don't have a whole lot of options here. Even on my system, I uh, only have a few that do that that have uh, a quad capability. And for starters, we'll start with looking at the multi-mono version. So you can see from this list, we have quite a few options when we go to multi-mono because anything that has a mono version will show up in the list. So um, we'll pick one here and I'll just pick one that we have uh, access to. And so just for fun, we'll try TrueVerb down there, the Waves plugin TrueVerb. So here we go. So while this plugin is still linked, so remember the blue button there is a link button. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a preset. So I'm just picking something here. And since we're gonna work on some guitars, let's just choose something guitar related there. I'll try a rock guitar room since where you got guitars going. So they're all linked, which we can tell from this area up here. So if we wanted to make a tweak to it, we could do it right now. So let's give a listen here. So I've got this guitar, we're in pre, and I have the reverb soloed. So let's pan it to the left, and we see we're only generating reverb out of the left channel because the left reverb is the only thing getting any signal. So as I move around here, you see the left surround, and we only get reverb coming out of that channel. If to get reverb coming out of all of them, I've got to pan it where there is signal being sent to all channels. So somewhere off of the extremes. So remember, because these are four mono reverbs, we're not really generating any surround type of a reverb out of this. Uh, again, similar to kind of the multi-mono in stereo where we can kind of create an unrealistic environment with these uh, guitars panned to quad. I could again have the guitar that's in the left have reverb coming out of the left surround. And the guitar panned right, I could have, for example, coming out of right surround. So I've kind of got their... Uh, the right guitar is up front and their reverb in the back and I'll go to this stereo uh, guitar um, and again it's in the backs so I could kind of reverse what I'm doing on the front guitars and put its reverb in the front. Okay, so next let's look at the 5.0 reverb, and we'll do a multi-channel version of this. It attempts to simulate a realistic environment. The multi-mono is not necessarily a realistic environment. Depending on how things are panned, it may create an, a very unrealistic uh, environment as far as reverb is concerned. So here we are. We will select all of our drums, and we will go to send slot C. 
collapse that and we will hold option shift and select new track and we are going to create a 5.0 aux input track we'll name it f reverb 5 for the number of channels that tells me it's a, a 5.0 and room 5 and i will hit create and then we will move it out of the way so hold options deselect move it over here get it out of the way let's load up a plug-in on it we'll go to multi-channel don't have a lot of choices see it narrowing down there we go to a 5.0 so we'll use revive because we've been using that and um, let's load up a room so let's see we got several things to choose from here we'll just choose large bright room let's open up our send so command clicking there just to save a little bit of time, since I have so many channels here, I'm gonna go ahead and copy my pan settings up to this send so I don't have to go through each of them. Another option I could use would be open up the sends and hold option shift and set all of the sends to follow main pan. But anyways, I'm gonna copy my pan to send C, hit okay. So for the room, I will go ahead and just grab and pan those back to the backs. So we'll take, send a little bit of the snare to that reverb and you can see it, it's generating reverb in all channels, even though it's only panned kind of center up front. So again, a realistic environment trying to be created here. So we'll look at the rooms, which I have panned to the surrounds. And as I uh, send that to the reverb, you can actually notice there's more reverb being output and generated in the front than in the surround, even though I'm sending the signal to the back. So output obviously should be SMM 5.0 and it was automatically set up because that's the only 5.0 bus in our session. So kind of depending on the algorithm, how good a job it does at creating a surround environment is totally dependent on the plugin itself and the algorithm. So some of the algorithms in uh, Revive, for example, are better than others. So sometimes you have to play around a little bit and try out some different presets.